Welcome, Captain. We've been expecting you. You're clear to dock at docking port one. So you do not track mud on the floors. You would not wish to tarnish this hospitable environment. Hi. Welcome aboard the UC Please Vigilance. Did you have any questions before I escort you to the commander? Dissatisfied with the results. I'm not authorized to divulge information. Yeah, listen to him carefully. The commander's a one-and-done kind of officer. In other words, he hates to repeat himself. Other than that, just observe standard military decorum, and it should keep you from serving any time on the ship's cleaning detail. All right. This way, please. So, you're the vanguard that took down that Terramorph on Tau City. You've made quite an impression around here. Everyone upstairs is talking about it. Damn. That must have been one hell of a firefight. I almost regret missing out on all the fun. Of course, we don't normally see that kind of action on the Vigilance. But we have our moments. All right, Vanguard. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Akande should be waiting for you. Good luck. Okay, hello. Excuse me. Pardon. I'd like to brief you on the mission, so please, pay attention. Ah, there you are. Commander Kibwe Kande, UC Sistef. Glad to have you aboard. I was beginning to think you were having second thoughts about Commander Duala's offer. It appears he certainly picked the right person for the job. So, now that you're part of the team, allow me to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center, dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, and the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Eager to get going? Good. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdev, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. 
Allow yourself to stray too far off the path and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. To put it simply, you can't go into every situation with guns blazing. Think before you act. Calculate what you're doing and pull the trigger only when it's absolutely necessary. At the end of the day, your primary goal is taking down the Crimson Fleet. That's the greater good. The Crimson Fleet doesn't follow the rules. They only abide by one thing. Money. All of their morals and social graces fall by the wayside in pursuit of their greed. At first glance, this can appear quite enticing, so I'm warning you not to get lured into their trap. Think you can handle that? That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence-gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here, and good luck. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the Vigilance, and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence, and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years, which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. She's shrewd, and she's diligent. The only reason we were able to connect her with the Crimson Fleet at all was thanks to an informant. I'm afraid she's the best lead we've got. As you were. All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Bactera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch, Proceed to Sidonia, make contact with Searsha Bowden, and with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Hey. <clears throat> yes? Howdy. Yes.
last night? <laughs> Don't pretend to be mad yet. at me. I know you aren't really. I learned that back on Earth, people used to use the stars to navigate. That's so cool. But I guess it only worked because they just lived on one planet. And that sounds boring. <laughs> Remind me one of these days to tell you the tale of a certain Solomon Co. And where his stargazing landed him. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC Security sticking their noses into. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? If the Trade Authority is not interested, that says a great deal. No, they're right. What they didn't tell you is that I have a self-preservation streak a kilometer wide. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Just demand the extra credits up front next time. These games are juvenile and tiresome. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Credit for your thoughts, as they say. Layla's been going on about the heart of Mars again. Is she gonna give it a rest? Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. You're a clever one, aren't you? Let's just say... I have a certain influential affiliation. And leave it at that. Basically, you want that Aurora moved, I'm your guy. Right down to business, and no small talk. I like it. 
I see no good reason why we should have any extra dealings with the likes of you. Lady, if you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Perfect. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. Good to see you. I can help you with? Adler Kemp. Who the heck is that? Y yes, yes, of course. Y you're right. Adler's not going to just give up now, is he? <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Uh, well, I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now, okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Clearly this man has never seen how hard I can squeeze. What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. Oh, g come on. This isn't about money. It's about making an example out of me. Ah. Yeah, sure. And then I'll have the whole Crimson Fleet gunning for me. Brilliant. Brilliant idea. Sure. I, I guess I, I could ask for a seven-day shift. I don't know. I suppose. It's just that... Well... I, I didn't have much of a choice. Please. Tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. I'm glad to see you. The 
have something for me? There, would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice, nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. Before you say anything, no. Watch out for the robots. Let's get everything out in the open. 
I don't know if Adler mentioned it, and for his sake, I hope he hasn't. But you aren't about to sign up with any average pirate crew. You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. That's if you get through this little task I have planned for you. There's a medical supply ship called the Rigana, jumping into Enceladus's orbit. On board that ship, you'll find a traitor named Austin Rake. I want him dead. It's done when Rake stops breathing. Head back here when you're finished. And don't keep me waiting for long. This Neva Mora, her words are measured and carry weight. She is not to be trifled with. for you to take this offer. It shows more mercy than you know. Well, normally I would say no, but frankly, it will be safer for us that way. All right, you can talk. We will talk then. sure what to make of you being here. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. That is true. Which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? You really do not know which one of us is Rake, do you? And you do not seem to care either, which makes me think you really want to save him. Okay, I have idea. We can strike his name from Manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then, when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. That is fair. We do not want any part of the fleet. Is that all right with you, Austin? 
Do I have a choice? It does not appear you do. Well then, it is agreed. You go back to your ship and we will make sure Rake was never on ours. And in case any of your handlers get suspicious, here. We had an extra crate of supplies loaded, in case one got damaged. This should be proof you were not here to bargain. Thank you for letting us go. For now, I will allow it. 